Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. I want to give you an update video on the uh, FJ Cruiser Bug Out Vehicle Series. Um, this is uh, video two of communications. Um, the first video I did kind of showed the radio that I had gotten, which is the one here, and the setup I was going to use as far as an antenna mount and all that. Well, a fellow YouTuber by Iridium242 uh, has been in contact with me, and when he, he's going to help me set everything up, and the, re the antenna that I had chosen to mount, and I'll show you what I was going to do, and I discussed this a little bit in the other video, I have a CB antenna, this is the same mount as here, and I have a spring and a four foot CB fire stick antenna, and I was going to mount this over here the same way on a four foot with a um, with a uh, spring and a four foot uh, antenna specifically designed for ham radio. Well, after discussing with Iridium 242 kind of my thoughts on what I was wanting to do, he told me that the antenna that I had chosen is um, for, it's not uh, dual band, it's only a single band antenna. So it was not going to be able to maximize the capacity of what this um, will do and accomplish because this is a multi-band radio. So he recommended a, a antenna that was uh, by the company Tram and it's a magnet mount. And I was a little hesitant about magnet mounts. I've had them in the past. They're fine as long as you're not going off-road. And if you're going off-road where there's trees and limbs and stuff that are kind of low hanging, you can run into where you can get them knocked off and I've had that happen. So, but I decided to go ahead and get it. It's fairly inexpensive. I think I paid less, definitely less than $30. I think it was like $24 or something, including shipping. And I'll put in the section below where I got it. I think I got it off of Amazon, and the pricing is very reasonable. And it comes highly recommended from Iridium 242. It's one of the ones he recommended, and it gets really good reviews on Amazon. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And the reason I'm going to do that is I've kind of semi-mounted, I don't want to say permanent because it's hard to, you can't really permanent mount a magnet mount, but I did kind of run the wiring and stuff and I'm going to show you that that I'm going to temporary it's going to be semi-temporary so if I need to take it off completely or remove it I can move it from vehicle to vehicle which is nice I could even pack it in a backpack with a little 12 volt type setup uh, battery pack uh, so it has multiple use more so so I thought it was it was well worth the money spent to have two antennas I'm still going to do the original idea that I had because I think uh, it'll be more of a permanent situation. It'll limit my radio ability, uh, but I can still, according to him, I can still monitor certain uh, channels that uh, you, but you couldn't uh, uh, send out signal. You couldn't speak in it. You couldn't talk on it. So, and again, guys, I'm not a radio expert. That's why I reach out to other people that's more knowledgeable than me. I like to tell people I know just enough about communications to be dangerous. So don't take anything I say with 100% uh, accuracy. So, uh, But I'm learning it and trying to do my best with it, and I think I'm doing pretty good. But uh, what I've done is I've run the uh, uh, wire down through here, up around under my dash, uh, comes out over here inside this little weather stripping all the way up here underneath that to kind of hold it in place and then if you look there's the magnet mount antenna right there and it's a um, good little it's a good looking antenna it's uh, really uh, looks well constructed and I think it's going to do well so I was I was I was willing to spend the money to have both and like I said that one there I can obviously move it take it with me with a backpack I can you know possibly mount it on top of a you know house or something because the the and then just have a, a separate 12 volt uh, connection, you know, with some kind of battery pack or whatever, and be able to run a fairly strong radio with a portable unit and have an antenna that's portable. So I was willing to spend the money. I think it's a good investment to have both antennas. But I'm going to go ahead and set everything up. I'll have a part three of this video. And tonight, he's going to help me program this radio and teach me how to do all that. And we've scheduled a time to uh, do that. And once all that is done, and then I get a chance to use the radio. And because uh, I'm not licensed, ham licensed yet, I'm still in the process of studying and going to take the course and, and the exam. So I'm going to be limited on what I can do with this radio for a little while. But I'm at least going to give you my thoughts on it. But keep in mind, with communications... 95% is going to be listening in emergency preparedness, is listening to what's going on. Now, obviously, in an emergency situation, I don't have to be licensed if, if it's a life or death situation and I need to get on this thing and, and ask for assistance or help. So 
yes, I want to be able to get licensed, and I recommend everybody do that uh, to get your ham license and be able to practice with your uh, equipment, and that's what I'm going to do. So I needed to get that done. I just hadn't got it accomplished yet, but I will. And um, But again, 95% is going to be listening to what's going on in your area. Under emergency situations, you could use it without it, but part of getting your license is really a being able to use it freely when you need to but also being able to practice and learn as you go because as a lot of the ham guys will tell you you don't want to have all this gear and then you get to a true emergency situation and you can't use it because you don't understand it and so that's important um so anyway guys appreciate you tuning in today if you have any questions post those below i'll give a, a update video number three here soon after i get everything hooked up and kind of my thoughts on this radio like a true review of it and kind of the final product when i've got everything installed and up and running and uh, we'll kind of go from there on the next video but anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you got any questions post those below if you like our videos give us that thumbs up it's over there in that section over there if you're not a subscriber and you like this type of content go ahead and hit the subscribe button over there and uh, then you can actually share content too that's always appreciative and uh, you can share it on like google plus places like that pinterest whatever and that's always appreciative and helps our channel grow as always guys like share and subscribe we'll bring another video shortly have a great day